What's up? We've got a very special episode for you today. We are going to three different seafood spots in Auckland, starting with this place, Auckland Fish Market. And we've got Crab Shack coming up and then Depot. Yes, yeah, so stay tuned with us. We're going to show you where to get some fresh, some delicious New Zealand seafood. seafood. And joining us for a massive three times, we've got Gabo here. What's up? All right, let's go. Let's go. Just had a little walk around this place. Fish Market actually closed down for a little while and got renovated. And, and it's opened down. Yeah. Look at it. So, I'm so excited because yes. there's lots of different changes. There's a whole bunch of different stores and also a lot of it is cooked seafood rather than fresh raw seafood, which is quite cool as well. And there's also like seafood places that you can buy fish and take home and cook it yourself as well. Yeah, Gabo, you parked here. How much was car parking? Um, I think $1 an hour, but the first hour is free, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a good deal. So I'm excited right now. This looks like an amazing spread of delicious seafood here at the Auckland Fresh Fish Market. G, yeah. what have we got? <laughs> I've got this here, white bait fritter. I got it from Billy Pot. Billy Pot? Yeah. Are you checking the name? Yep, Billy yeah, Pot. Billy Pot. Yeah. And, and how much was this? For $15. $15. That's um, a pretty good price, eh? Yeah, it caught my eye. I love white bait fritters. Me too. Shall we give it a try? Yes, let's give this one a try. Cheers. It's okay. really good. It's got the egg flavor. Mm. And the little white bits in there. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> a lot of places now they don't have enough like white bait to egg ratio because white bait's so expensive. But, but this, this one's one, got it, eh? Yeah, this one's got it. So over here we got a couple of things from Tiki Thai, raw Trevally tacos. Mm, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Trevally is a perfect fish for tacos because it's, I feel like the meat's a little bit creamy. The shell itself is um, quite nice. Yeah. Different to other taco shells, I think. And so how much was this one, Peter? This one was $15. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good, $15 uh, for three tacos. Also from Tiki Thai, we've got these popcorn prawns. Now, Yen was attracted to these as soon as she heard the word popcorn. And prawns. Yeah. <laughs> Should we go in for one of these now? Yeah. Looks like there's a nice blend of chili sauce down at the bottom. Crispy, and yeah. the prawns itself is sweet and soft. Sucked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a little bit spicy as well from that um, Thai sauce. Now next one we're going in for these dumplings that we got from Azabu. Azabu actually has its own restaurant in Ponsabi which is a mixture of Peruvian and Japanese food. So you get four dumplings for the price of $12. Oh. The sauce is really yummy. Mm -hmm. Got a hint of sweetness in there. The seafood itself is really delicious as well. Like, I can't really tell the individual components apart, so I can't really tell the snapper and the white bait in there. But the blend of it together is really yum. Finally, look at this beast that we've got right here. Yum, swordfish. I love swordfish because of the texture. I normally like rough texture. Rough. <laughs> I like it rough. <laughs> and my fish, I think other people like this fish that when you bite into it, it melts in your mouth. But I prefer these hard textured ones. <laughs> it's better, yeah, rough ones. So yeah. Yeah, this is from Martin Tierra, which is an Argentinian place. And it looks like they grilled it really nicely on a skewer with a little bit of scallion on the top. Now that's a rough fish for you. It's so good. Outside's a bit crispy on the edge. And then the inside, though it is slightly rough, it's also at the same time very soft and buttery as well. It's a bit of char and smoky flavour there, eh? Right? Char flavour. You're getting better and better with each episode, Gabo. You can Thank tell you. the flavors. These dishes are amazing, but I think there's also a lot of other stuff that we want to try, but because, uh, you know, so much that we can. <laughs> Only so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, what we're going to have for you is some fish facts from Peter. <laughs> Starting with fact number one. Did you know over 600,000 tons of seafood is shipped from New Zealand every single year? And that equates to 1.8 billion in dollars of exports. <laughs> and we have 123 commercially fished species. Final fact, and this is the best 
one of all, New Zealand also ranks number one in ecologically sustainable fishing. Yeah! <laughs> Right now, we are at Crab Shack, another very famous spot for seafood in Auckland. Gabo? I'm super excited about this. Yes, me too. <laughs> you know, anywhere where you get them to eat, it's gonna be good, right? Yeah, we're ready to get messy. Should we go for one of these first? Yes. Alright, you get a tour tour, I'll get a puppy. It's very exciting right now. Oh. Oh. The food of champions. That's so good. Amazing. Tastes just like the sea. It's so fat, my one. My one's tiny and really, really chewy. The sauce is really what makes this place amazing, right? It's very buttery and you get a hint of the white wine flavor and then they've got some herbs in there as well. And also I've got these um, bread rolls yeah. to dip it into both of the sauce that we've got. Can we go for some of these crabs now? Aye. Down in half. Yes. Crab cheers. <laughs> Let's see how these blue swimmers taste. It's got that crab flavor. No, it's crab really flavor. sweet. It's really sweet. Yeah, the crab is really nice and sweet. And uh, it's got a really nice crabby texture as well. And it's really fresh. Super fresh. And this sauce just wraps it up in a sweet, buttery layer of deliciousness. Oh wow, look at that piece of meat. Yeah. The prices are really reasonable. It's normally around 50 to 60 something dollars for a kg of crabs. The best part is dipping these buns in the sauce. Oh yes, you go for that one. Okay, you go for that one. Uh, oh yeah. The sauce here has been amazing for so many years. This one's got a slight hint of chili in it. And that, that one's one, creamy. The flavor from the crabs and the clams is melted in with the sauces. All I can say is this is really, really yummy. Yeah. You guys have to try it for yourself. We are now heading down Queen Street to head to our third and final spot, which is Depot. This place is made famous for its amazingly fresh oysters and also clams. Let's head over there now. We've got some Tekoma oysters right here, the Pacific kind. And you know, this might be something to do with us being in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, but I find we get a lot of Pacific oysters, eh? Oh, yeah. Sounds right. I don't know my geo, but sounds right. Sounds right. <laughs> oh, man. That's so good. So fresh. So creamy. Oh. It just slides down your throat. Yeah, it's like, really okay, we, like somehow, like sometimes when I think of the way we're describing oysters, it's like, oh, that doesn't sound that good. It's creamy, slides down your throat, it's salty. But trust us, it's an amazing sensation. It's delicious. You guys have to try it. This is a kingfish ceviche with a little bit of coconut. What's and it? some tequila. A bit got, of chili there. Yes, a little yeah. bit of chili. It's not super spicy. And then you've got the coconut cream. It's really yum. And then the kingfish itself, the meat is so nice and sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's sweet. The tour tours have arrived. No visit to the depot is complete without these babies. Oh yes. Oh, you use a lot of vinegar. Oh yes. <laughs> so fresh. So sweet. Oh, I love these tour tour clams. They're absolutely amazing. They're a little bit chewy. The meat is really succulent. I think that's the best word to describe it. Succulent. I think so. My vocab's not that great, but chewy. But I like it. It's like a nice chewy flavor. Yes, uh, not flavor, good. texture. <laughs> <laughs> Another classic that you have to get at Depot is... A book of sliders! Yes. As you bite your teeth into that, you're gonna be in the world of pleasure, my friends, because that is an amazing slider. Perfectly made. What are we looking at right now? We're looking at some clams. Just put linguine in there. The linguine is just lovely. Al dente. There's some little, I think, ham bits in there as well. 
And then you got the uh, tomato coming through as well as the salty sauce down on the bottom. It's just delicious. Oh my god. Sorry. Dropping your sausages all over the place. Oh sorry. Yeah? Amazing. Amazing. I don't know how to describe it, Peter. You describe it. I haven't eaten it. You've oh, got to describe no. it. Fresh clams, just amazing. Got a bit of sausage in there, salty but nice. I think Peter, you said amazing like five times. I know, that's my favourite wish. <laughs> <laughs> Yo guys, and that concludes one day of awesome seafood eating. Gabo, what do you reckon were some of your favourites for today? From the fish market, we've got the white bait fritters and the swordfish skewers. For me, it was probably the Trevelli tacos. Oh yeah, that was really good too. Yeah, and what about from Crab Shack? One Crab of our Shack, classics. it would be my clams in the pots. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was pretty good. And the one kg huh. crab is always my staple go-to, so yeah. that's it for me. Oh good. What about Depo? Depo is always the spot to hit up if you're wanting some fresh oysters. For the clams, I love the clams. Yes. If you guys enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed seeing Gabo on here for the third time, not getting sick of her, you want to see her here for a fourth time, <laughs> then don't forget to leave a comment, hit the subscribe and like button, do all that good stuff. Oh, thank you. See ya. See ya.